Hello everybody, this is Life Ligeros. Uh, I just want to give a quick overview on how Seesaw can be used as a portfolio and how reflections can be assigned and put into folders. So this is a teacher view. I'm in the activities uh, place here just to show you that a teacher could uh, assign a reflection or an artifact activity right through here. And since we have multiple teachers, this might be helpful. Notice I can add voice instructions, etc. I can add a template for student responses if I want. And once the activity is created, I would assign it to my class. We're going to have multiple teachers in a portfolio and reflection class. I'm just using this test for now. And then when students sign in, they should be able to uh, access it. So here, um, any of the teachers who come into this class now when they go into activities, they'll see all the activities that have been assigned. And if I'm the teacher that's done the math artifact, I could, if I wanted to, actually make it tag it with math, for example, which means every student response will automatically be tagged that way. From a student point of view, they should get a notification that they have a new activity. Um, and they'll be able to go into that activity over here and they'll, this is how they see it from um, student view and they can go ahead and add their response so I'm gonna do a math reflection here I'm gonna possibly record my voice or put a video on there as well and once I've submitted it it tells me it's waiting for teacher approval, which back on the teacher side, now they will have a um, notification that a student has submitted, okay? But since we have multiple teachers, what uh, I would do is use the activities to go in here and see, okay, one student's waiting for approval here, and that way I can review that and look at all my students and see, oh yes, this student did look. I can go in there and give them heart, give them comments, approve their posts, at which time it becomes available for families as well. And then as a portfolio, if later the student, going back into the student view, decided, oh, that's already tagged as math because my teacher tagged as math, but I think that this was a really good example of my citizenship. Um, because I exhibit it in these ways. And you know what? This is something that I really want to make sure that I am going to show at my student-led conference. They can add tags later. And then as conferences roll around, students can say, let me see all my work that I tagged for conferences, for example. And all of their work they tagged that way will show up. So it's a nice way to keep them organized easily. Um, to be able to cultivate their best their, their work that they want to share that shows growth and um, it's a pretty simple organizational system. Let me know if you have questions. Have fun out there.